Hi, it's Keith from Cloud Design Box. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can save attachments from an email directly out of Outlook into SharePoint. If you like what you see today, don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe. And if you hit the activity bell, you'll be notified every time Cloud Design Box uploads a new video. So let's get into SharePoint. Here we are in SharePoint. I've just created a folder to put my email and attachments in. So I'm just going to go into that folder now. I now need to go over to Outlook and find the email and the attachments that I want to bring over. So here's my email. Uh, we've got three attachments associated to it and I'm going to bring them into SharePoint. Just one thing to note is that just with the attachments, if I click the options arrow, I don't get the opportunity to bring that attachment directly into SharePoint from here. I can upload it and I can push it through to my OneDrive. I can also save as or save all the attachments, both work the same. And if I click save as, it just gives me the option of being able to bring it through, obviously to my file explorer, where I can pull that through into my OneDrive area or a network drive. So to bring over the attachment, I can do it a couple of ways. So first of all, we're going to bring over the whole email with all the attachments and we're going to place that directly into our folder in SharePoint. And to do that, I can hover over the email, keep my left mouse button pressed down and I can then drag and drop that directly into SharePoint. So as it comes into SharePoint, as we can see around the edges of my SharePoint page, I get a hatch line. And all I need to do now is release my left mouse button and that will bring that email over. Might take a second for it to come over depending on the size of the attachments. And here's the email here. I can click on it. That will open it up. However, at the moment, you can't see the attachments. So I still need to download it by clicking the download button. That will download the email. And again, just by clicking on the download at the bottom here, that will open up the email. And there's the attachments available to me there. However, that might not be desirable. So let me just go back. So there's the email there in SharePoint. However, what I can do, I can also bring over the attachments individually. So again, we're just gonna go into Outlook and I've got my three attachments here. And all I need to do, left mouse button press down, and I'm going to drag and drop that across into SharePoint. So it overcomes my PowerPoint presentation. And again, all I need to do is just release my left mouse button. That will bring it across. We do get a little uploading icon there. Just tell me how it's getting on. And I've now brought that attachment over from my email, and it's now being placed into my SharePoint folder here. Let's go back to the email and I've got an Excel document. Again, left mouse button pressed down. I'm going to drag and drop it into SharePoint. There it is there. And I've got a final Word document. So I'm going to drag over and drop it into SharePoint. And there it is there. So that's brought over the email in its own right. So there it is there. And I have then the three individual attachments all now sat safely in SharePoint. So I use a two screen setup. So I have my email open on my uh, laptop screen and I just drag and drop that across over into my big monitor screen here. However, if you're working on a single screen, not a problem. So here's my email I'm going to bring over. At the bottom of the screen, I've got Outlook and I've got my SharePoint open in the internet here. So what I'm going to do again is drag and drop, keep my left mouse button pressed down. And this time I'm going to bring the email across. I'm going to drop it down, hover over where my SharePoint site is, and then I'm just going to lift that back up and let go. So that email is now being brought across. There's the email there like it was before. And again, I'm going to drop back into email. Here's my attachment. I'm going to drag, drop that to the bottom of the screen. There's where SharePoint is. 
let go and it comes in. There's my English creative writing attachment. I'll drag and drop and up. Now it comes across, uploading there. And the final one, bring that across, up the screen. And that's how it was up there. So if you're working on a single screen operation, then that's potentially how you can do it. So as you can see, it's really easy to be able to bring over an email or email attachments from Outlook directly into SharePoint. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, please do subscribe to the channel and to access further training videos and also our social media sites, please scan the QR codes. See you on the next video.